Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up a church live stream with StreamYard. Step number one, go to StreamYard.com. Consider using my affiliate link down in the description to get there. Step number two, we need to go to the home tab and click on create a live stream. You can also do create a recording or create a webinar, but we need to click on create a live stream. Next, we need to choose where we want that live stream to go live. So down here, click on the plus button. And next, we need to choose Facebook page. And again, you can go live from your church wherever you want. Maybe it's a YouTube page or Twitter. And again, what's cool about StreamYard is we can go live in multiple locations, which is really cool. All right, so for now, I'm gonna connect a Facebook page, then it's going to connect to my Facebook here. Then you need to find your church page or entity that you're going to connect to to go live on. This is it right here, Minnesota Lutheran Church. So I'm gonna click on that. Then next, you need to title your live stream. I'm gonna call it, hello everyone. Welcome to Church Sunday. Then a description, I'm gonna do the same thing. Then click on create live stream. Then it's gonna prompt you to make sure you have your camera and microphone set up properly. This little tab here, this volume meter is showing you if your mic is working. If you click on the settings tab, you can choose what camera you wanna use. You can choose the camera resolution that you wanna go live in. You can also choose your microphone and your speakers, etc. You can do a virtual background, which is actually pretty cool. Then once you have that all figured out, enter your display name, my name is Chris, and then click on enter studio. Next, we are in the live stream studio. At the top here, you can see it says the title of our stream. Next, what we wanna do is we wanna add our camera. And again, I have multiple webcams going right now, so hopefully it doesn't confuse you too much. Maybe I'll just put my head over my face right here. All right, so this is essentially the screen that we're gonna be using to go live. And to go live, all you do is go up in the right-hand corner and click on go live, and that's immediately when the pages go live from this screen, where you attach them to, essentially the destinations, right? And what's really cool is we can actually open screens and share screens. So if we go down to the present tab, we can click that, we can show slides. Maybe you have created a slideshow. Maybe you have an extra camera you wanna add or a video. Maybe you wanna go and play a video or maybe you just wanna share a screen. Let me show you how it works. So I'll open a new tab over here and I'll go over to google.com and then I'll go back over to StreamYard and then I'll click on present and then share the screen and then I can choose what window or the entire screen or a Chrome tab that I wanna share. I can just click this Google tab here and now it jumped to Google, and this is live right now. If we were live, this is what's showing. So if we go back over to StreamYard, this is the screen that would be live. And again, if we click on these layout buttons, we can kind of change the layouts of what we want presented to the live stream. If I click this layout, you can see there's a little picture of me in the corner, or I can choose this layout, or this layout. There's a bunch of layouts, and maybe as you shoot, you can kind of change in between these different layouts, which is really cool. It's an awesome feature. And what's also awesome is as you're live, you'll start getting comments over here on the right-hand side, right? And you can actually click on them, and it will show them up on the screen. See, it says live viewer comment show up on StreamYard. And also, if you wanna do custom banners, you can use this. You can click on custom banners right here. We can click on this brand tab to kind of change the layout. Um, of what how things look. You can do blocky, minimalist, and you can also add your logo and such. You could change this to like a round camera feature. Same with this, see how this is round. So you can essentially customize pretty much everything we need to in here. And as the comments pop up, you can approach them as they come up. Maybe you talk about them at church service. But this is a really amazing feature of StreamYard that you can use to do church live streams. Let me change this camera setting back to normal here. Yeah, let's do it like this. And you could play videos as you're doing your live stream. You could show slideshows. You could read from scripture. You could do whatever. Whatever like your church service you wanna be doing, you can be doing. And also you can actually invite guests. So yeah, StreamYard has a ton of features. You can share the comments. You can bring in guests. You can share other screens. You could do like, uh, you could share scriptures, drawings, presentations. One big setback though, if you're using the free version of StreamYard, it actually only streams in 720p. And I highly urge that you upgrade to at least get to that 1080p resolution. Consider signing up using my affiliate link in the description from one creator to another. We're just helping each other out and I'm rooting for you. I truly do believe StreamYard is probably the best option to be doing something like this. So yeah, this is how to set up a church live stream using StreamYard. It's an amazing tool and it will suit you perfect. Consider signing up using the link in the description. Hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions and guys, please subscribe to my channel from one creator to the other. Until then, I'll see you next time.